what I've got here for you today is my Squeezebox radio again. Um, you know, if you have been following my channel, you'll know that way back when Logitech took their server offline, I did a quick video about how you could set it up with uh, your own server to keep your Squeezebox radio running. And I did a little follow-up on that with some discussion of some of the plugins you might want to use on that. Now, Logitech Media Server is now Lyrian Music Server, and that's now gone to version 10.0, sorry, 10.0, 9.0.1. So the current version of Lyrian Media Server is 9.0.1. And what I want to do in the next little bit is just go over installing that, because that's the current version. Um, the uh, Lyrian group has done a really good job of setting up a nice, clean, new website. And I think most people are going to find that this is a very easy process. So I will turn on screen sharing and move on to showing how you can set up your server to keep using your Logitech radio, um, you know, as long as you like, by running your own server on your own machine. All right. So if we want to actually install Lyrian uh, Media Music Server on your PC, or in this case a Mac, you'd want to go to the Lyrian website, which is right here, lyrian.org. Sorry, that's going to be a little small because it's a 4K screen that I'm recording, although I have made the text larger. And this is what you see when you get to the website. You see a fairly straightforward um, in description of it, it explains the history of the LMS and all that. And what you then do is you would go to get started with LMS, or you could do it there from the menus that pop up on the side. Uh, sorry, you're probably hearing my mouse skit around here. So you would download the uh, package for whatever system you're on. I'm on a Mac, so it would be uh, Mac OS. For Windows, there it would be fairly simple. The uh, Mac OS installation with this version, 901, has gotten really simple because the sort of the architecture of the, uh, the server has changed. Um, if you, so when you download it, there's a, there's a file and it'll say getting started on Mac OS as well. Here you can see, right? Um, the key thing here to keep in mind is that if you've installed version seven or whatever the last version seven was, you need to get rid of it before you install it. And the key installation guide here is here, right? So you need to make sure that it's not uh, that it's not active. The other thing, of course, is on the Mac, as any Mac user, current Mac user will know, you're going to get a bunch of disk access requests and system access requests when you install it for the first time. So expect that. And that's discussed here in some detail. Once it's installed, yet you see up in the top on the, again, this is going to be very little, you can see a little uh, sort of waveform here. And I've moved some things around. So, and that so I'm moving things around, so I'm not entirely sure that this is going to work properly. But um, you then have uh, access from this little um, this little icon to uh, your various uh, sites, and this will just show up in a web browser. So if I open Web Control, there we go. This looks exactly like what you're used to. And so if we look at Album Artists, yeah, we can see what's available on there and if we look at open settings it'll open up the settings uh, for my um, Lyrian Media server right and it will show you where it expects to find music folders and all that and you can set that up as you want to. Hopefully that will make sense to people. Um, this is a reasonably well thought out installation process. I'm assuming that on Windows it will be more or less identical. So, much easier than it used to be, certainly easier than in the, in the era of the last video I made about this, where we had to deal with the transition from Logitech to uh, Lyrian Music Server, but that's been done. This is great. 
I mean, they, it, it's pretty well all volunteer initiative as far as I'm aware, but the amount of work that's been put into making this work, making this uh, ecosystem of squeeze box devices continue to work 25 years after it first was developed in 2000. 25 years and it's still going. Not that much in the text world has had that kind of longevity. Anyhow, hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.